Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now I know today is a blessed day. You know why? Because I know the Lord had prepared a table before you and you are going to sit on that table and enjoy all the good things he's planned for you. Praise God. I will read something to you. It says, Simon Peter, his servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, he is addressing this letter to you. Now, who are you? The one who has obtained the same kind of precious faith. How? Through the righteousness of our Lord. Praise God. In other words, it is God's righteousness that brought about that precious faith to you. It is God's righteousness that brought about his word coming to you. And I told you that's what faith is. His word coming to you and you responding to his word is your act of faith. Praise God. So now let's go on. It says, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Now verse 3 is one point I want us to look at. It says, according, oh, you need to sit down and get this. According as his divine power had, notice it, had given unto us, what? All things that pertain unto life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Did you see that? Now it says, according as he had given unto us. Now, meaning, God has given unto us. What has he given unto us? Everything that pertains to life and godliness. Now, hold on. God has given to you everything that pertains to life. Do you know what that is? Now, think about it. What do you think are the things that pertain to life? Now, when he says God has given you all things that pertain to life, he is telling you that there is nothing you need in this life that God has not given you. There is nothing you need that's going to make your life comfortable that God has not given you. There is nothing you need. Just think about it. Nothing in your health, in your finances, nothing. Everything you need to make your life good. God has given to you. Praise God. And so, so, so what is it? Then why am I suffering? Good question. Why am I begging? Good question. Why am I sick? Good question. You know, years ago, I had to ask myself this same question. Like, even if God have said this, then why? It, it, it's, it's important to ask those kind of questions. Oh, yeah. But you see, who you direct the question to is going to determine the power that is going to be made available. If you direct the question to a human being, you're going to get a human answer. You know, and you, you know what the human answer is going to be? Excuses. You see, when you say, if God has said it, why are we still falling sick? You're going to start getting excuses. And you know, it's because, it's because. But when you direct that question to the Holy Spirit, oh dear Lord Jesus, his response is going to be a command. And that command, oh, you know, several years ago, I, I, was, I was sick in my body and I was lying down on that bed. And then these were the questions that, was, that, that they were just propping up in my heart. I said, Lord, but you have said all these things in the scriptures. You've said all those promises. You promised them, I believe it. But why am I here? Why am I in this condition? And then one day the Lord spoke to me and said, You've been declaring that you are healed, but you are still acting sick. I'm like, how? Why are you lying down? Said, because I'm not well. Okay, you see? But you said you received your healing. So why don't you act it? Now, nobody told me this. I heard this from the Lord, and I thought to myself, I said, what am I doing here? I got up, and that was it. <laughs> it's God. Now, that's why I said, when you direct that question to him, he gives you the right answer. And the right answer is always a command. Now he says, he has given to us everything that pertains to life. Oh, I need you. Get that part. You know, I told you, the last week or so, I told you something. I said, listen, when God speaks of his promises, 
he always refers to his promises as past tense. For example, he said concerning Abraham, he says, I have made you a father of many nations. Now, this was a man who had no child in his old age. And here is God saying, I have made you. So when did he, God make him a father of many nations? The day he was created. When was he created? Not the day he was born. The day he was created. The day God wrote his name in the book of life. God wrote it there that this one shall be father of many nations. Now, it's the same thing. When did God give us all things that pertain to life and godliness before the foundation of the world? Oh, yeah, you, you need to. Now, 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 notice he said something here. He says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Then he said, it is through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. See? So how are we going to assess these things that he has given to us through knowledge? Now that's why the Bible says, true knowledge, the just shall be delivered. That's in the book of Proverbs. It says, true knowledge, the just is delivered. So, so the more you gain knowledge of what God has given to you, see, the more you walk in liberty. That's why Jesus said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, several times we pray to God, but we pray amiss. We don't even pray right. Say, you know, we, 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 we want something. We don't even know exactly what we want. That's why the scripture says, for we don't know what we should pray for as we ought. Because sometimes we truly pray amiss. You know why? Because I've got to stop here now, praise God. But you know, we're gonna continue from here tomorrow from this very place in scripture. Praise God. Have a blessed day today. Bye-bye.